Happy Valentine's Day. Our cat Valentino's name day. It's the 14th of February, 2015. And I'm going to bore you with another video about a stove. This is the stove that uh, you first saw in the first video I made where I uh, uh, sat next to it. Um, it's up in our third floor here in the house. Um, it's the same brand and actually the same uh, series as the other stove I showed you. However, as you can see, it is a very different shape. It's round. Uh, well, it isn't completely round. The back is flat. Let's see if I can. Uh, we've got it connected by a long pipe. We're going to reduce that. We're going to move it over to the le left a little, about 20 centimeters, and uh, reduce the length of that pipe there. Um, <clears throat> however, I want to show you the stove itself and how it how it works. Um, I'll move you in. Let's see a little bit here. Probably be a little better that way. Yeah. Okay. I'll get down here a little more. So, um, the output of this stove also is eight kilowatts. That is, it's adequate for about um, eight hundred square feet or a thousand square feet of living space with normal uh, ceiling height. Um, <clears throat> the stove is made out of steel. It's quite thick. Um, I think it's actually, I think this one is four millimeter steel. And can you see that there with my knee and my, yeah, I guess it's all right. Down here, there's a handle which you pull out and it opens the door. Or you can open the door with it that way. Um, <clears throat> I haven't cleaned out the ash pan yet. I'm going to do that and show you how much ash develops. Uh, the stove has was used. Um, oh my goodness! I've got somebody at the door. I've got to go. I'll be back with you in a minute. Sorry. That was a someone from the post office delivering a package. Anyway, <coughs> the stove was used three times, uh, about um, three times eight hours, I guess. And I think you can see this. That's how much, that's how much ash was left over um, after Three days. I think it was three days, maybe two days. In any case, it's very little ash. Normally, I would have been a little more careful about dumping that off. But in this room at the moment, it uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's so much dirt and dust all over the place here. That's really all there is to cleaning that. Uh, I'm going to make a fire in it now. And uh, again, just like the stove downstairs, the door, as you see, shuts itself. That's important uh, because we have two, uh, two stoves on one chimney. And if, the, if this door didn't shut, it, uh, the draft could change and uh, the smoke could come out from the, the fire that's burning down below. Okay, there's a damper here. Actually, this is just like the one downstairs that I showed you. There's a little, um, a little lever to pull out here, and it regulates the flow of air inside the stove. There's also a damper up on the pipe up here, which I'll open. And um, we'll leave that damper up there open. Down here, this stays open to light, and then we push in three quarters of the way, about um, 
once the stove is going, once the fire is burning, that keeps the glass here in front clean by circulating the hot air inside the stove. That's really all there is to it. It's very easy to, to uh, start a fire in, as you'll see. And I'll try to prop the door open temporarily here. I would normally uh, start the fire with some paper, but I don't have any paper up here. So I have some little um, paraffin soaked wood shavings that you can buy to start fires. And I'll use them. They should work fine. Here's, here's one. Maybe you can see it. I don't know how, how well you can see that. I'll have to see. Yeah, it's just a uh, oh, shaky, shaky hand bruise. Um, it's just a bit of wood wood shavings that are soaked in wax or paraffin. We'll put them in here. Put a couple of pieces of kindling over over them like that. Maybe another piece. Yeah, that's plenty of kindling. Really all there is to it. Close the door. And I said I have this damper open now, or I didn't have, I will, I do now. Um, that lets the maximum amount of air come in. By the way, there is also on these on these stoves there are also uh, air intakes in the back. You can connect up if, for instance, you have a small room without a, where you would uh, be in danger of not having enough oxygen in the room to, for the fire to burn burn correctly. You can run a pipe. Uh, I think it's a three inch, uh, like aluminum or or even plastic. I guess you could use pipe into the back of the stove uh, where there is a, an input uh, for, for the fresh air to go, uh, for combustion uh, to go in. It um, would require, of course, making a, a, an opening in a wall somewhere and uh, bringing fresh air in. If you're building a new house and you want to do this, it's very easy. You just make your chimney uh, have a double, a double pipe coming down, one for fresh air and one for the exhaust gases. And you run the fresh air then into the back there and uh, you've always got good uh, air for combustion. So we can now put some, some hardwood on there. I've got some little pieces here and some a little bit of bark. Put that on now. When you open the door, it's a good idea to just open it a little ways, let the fire um, settle down, and then open it and put your wood in. So the temperature in the room right now is, just after lighting this fire, the temperature in here is 10 degrees Celsius. We'll see how long it takes to heat the room up to about 20 degrees. Okay, so we've got a pretty good uh, starting fire going there. I'll shut you off and in 10 minutes I'll bring you back and we'll uh, put a, when, when we put a bigger piece on and it has started burning too. Okay, well it's uh, about two hours later and the temperature in the room now is 18 degrees Celsius. I've had the door open so 
if I'd have had the door closed, of course, it would have been over 20 degrees. Uh, I wanted to show you a, a new tool that I just got. It's a, it's called a, um, well, it's called a crocodile. <laughs> I guess you can see why. It has no, it has no um, hinge parts. It's, it works by bending the metal here. It's quite a clever gadget. It's made by a company called Goldman. And um, it's used, of course, for picking up pieces of wood like this. This one's a little bit big here, but even then I can pick it up with that. And the important thing is, too, I can uh, do it with one hand. I think you can see that there, yeah. With one hand so that I can open the door here and put the wood in there. And it, um, it has a hanger to hang it up on. It's quite a clever gadget, I must say. I'm really quite... Quite pleased with it. it. Has a large opening and it's very strong with the, to use with one hand. So I let the fire down, but I down because it uh, didn't need to be that as warm as it was getting in here. And uh, I just put now with this new piece on here. That piece will burn now for at least an hour and maintain the temperature here in the room. I close the door now. It should be up to 20 degrees in, uh, in if probably in less than 10 or 15 minutes. The air. If, um, if you want it to burn faster, you just open the door a little bit for a couple of minutes here like that, just a crack. And See, it picks up very quickly. Okay, so there's another boring discussion of our new stoves. We are very pleased with them, obviously. <laughs> Thanks for watching.